हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज सबिता रतूरी स्टूडेंट ऑफ एम एस माइक्रोबायोलॉजी इज हियर टू प्रेजेंट माय टॉपिक रेप्लिकेशन ऑफ सिंगल स्टैंडर्ड सर्कुलर डीएनए सो फर्स्ट लेट अस नो अबाउट डीएनए रेप्लिकेशन डीएनए रेप्लिकेशन आल्सो नोन एज सेमी कंजर्वेटिव रेप्लिकेशन इज द प्रोसेस बाय विच डीएनए इज इशेंशियली डबल्ड इट इज एन इम्पॉर्टेंट प्रोसेस दैट टेक्स प्लेस विद इन द डिवाइडिंग सेल This process occurs in all living organism and is the basis for biological inheritance. This is essential for cell division during growth and repair of damaged tissues while it also ensures that each of the new cell receives its own copy of DNA. Cell possesses a distinctive property of division which makes replication of DNA essential. DNA is made up of double helix of two complementary strands that run opposite to each other and twists together. During DNA replication, the double helix is unzipped and unwound. Now let us study the steps of DNA replication. First, in DNA replication, the first step is to unzip the double helix structure of the DNA molecule. Second, DNA gyrase often referred to as gyrase is an enzyme that reveals strain while double helix dna is being unwound by helicase third this is carried out by an enzyme called helicase which breaks the hydrogen bond holding the complementary bases of dna together that is a with t and c with g fourth the separation of the two single strands of dna creates a y shape called a replication fork the two separated strands will act as templates for making a new strand of dna fifth one of the strand is oriented in the 3 prime to 5 prime direction that is towards the replication fork this is the leading strand and the other strand is oriented in the 5 prime to 3 prime direction that is away from the replication fork this is the lagging strand as a result of their different orientations the two strands are replicated differently leading strand a short piece of rna called a primer produced by an enzyme called primase come along and binds to the end of leading strand the primer act as the starting point for dna synthesis dna polymerase 3 binds to the leading strand and then walks along it adding new complementary nucleotide bases a c g and t to the strand of dna in the 5 prime to 3 prime direction lagging strand numerous rna primer are made by the primase enzyme and binds at various points along the lagging strand chunks of dna called okazaki fragments are then added to the lagging strand also in the 5 prime to 3 prime direction this type of replication is called discontinuous step 9 once all of the bases are matched up that is a with the t and c with g an enzyme called exonuclease also known as dna polymerase 1 stripes away the primers the gap where the primers were are then filled by yet more complementary nucleotides step 10 new strand is proofread to make sure that there is no mistake in the new dna sequence Finally an enzyme called DNA ligase seals up the sequence of DNA into two continuous double strands the result of DNA replication is two DNA molecule consisting of one new and one old DNA now let us study the rolling circle DNA replication Rolling circle replication is a process in which a circular DNA or RNA molecule is replicated in one direction. It is also known as unidirectional nucleic acid replication. This particular process occurs in plasmid and viruses genome. The basic steps are circular DNA will be nicked. The 3 end elongation is called leading strand and the 5 end elongation is the lagging strand. Replication of both unnicked and displacement uh, of single stranded dna displaced dna circulates and synthesizes its own complementary strand some eukaryotes also replicate the dna by rolling circle mechanism 
that is the pi directional and it is by the name of dna amplification the rolling circle model shows the continuous dna synthesis begins at the 3 prime end of the broken nucleotide strand and as the dna molecule unwinds the 5 prime end is progressively displaced now let us study the three basic steps of this replication first is initiation initiates by the production of nick on one of the two strands producing free 3oh and 5 phosphate end by the action of helicase topomerases and single standard binding protein also known as SSBPs. The replication initiator protein REPA binds to a section of double standard DNA called origin of replication or ORI. REPA is encoded by a plasmid gene. REPA nicks one strand of DNA and holds to the 5' prime end of the strand and 3' prime end with its free hydroxyl group serves as a primer for a host DNA polymerase to begin the replication of the complementary strand. Second is the elongation. For elongation, the DNA polymerase 3 binds to the 3OH group of broken strand using an unbroken strand as a template. The polymerase will start to move in a circle for elongation due to which it is named as a rolling circle model. The REPA initiator protein recruits a helicase that unwinds the DNA. As DNA unwinds, it becomes encoded by single standard binding proteins. As the elongation proceeds, the 5 prime end will be displaced and will grow out like a waving thread. Third, initiation. At the point of termination, the linear DNA molecule is cleaved from the circle resulting in a double-stranded circular DNA molecule and a single-stranded linear DNA molecule. The linear standard molecule is circularized by the action of ligase and then replication to double-stranded circular plasmid molecule takes place. After the uh, double-stranded plasmid is made, each of these can undergo replication again by the same method. So, the conclusion is first a DNA is taken. After that, one stand is nicked by endonucleases. The free 3' prime end is extended by DNA polymerase displacing the complementary template stand which is copied in short segment of DNA polymerase and Replication proceeds until at least one new copy is made. Multiple copies may result changed together as a consent merge. Thank you.